Hi, this is Scott Sandlin. I'm the creator of HypnoThoughts.com and the co-creator of HypnoSummit.com. And this is the Global Hypnosis Summit. And I want to take a minute just to walk you through exactly how the HypnoSummit works and what it actually looks like. Uh, so what I'd like to do is just take you to HypnoSummit.com. And this is the uh, main site once you've logged in. And this is the main lobby area. And I'd like to show you that there's two different ways to navigate this site. The first is at the very top there's a menu and the second is on the right hand side. Now we've made it very simple because there's going to be a right side menu and a top menu on pretty much every page you go to. Uh, there will be a couple exceptions where it's only at the top but for the most part you'll see it in both places. So the first thing I want to show you is the vendor rooms. The vendor rooms is where the, uh, the vendor booths exist. And uh, what we have here are a few of the different booths and you can just scroll right to left and see how the booths work. So I'm going to start by clicking on a booth and you can just see very simply you can look at their exhibitor info uh, you can find out about their products and their downloads uh, they could be giving things away or having some sort of competition and you can click right here just to skip and go over to the uh, the help desk which we have and the help desk is located up here or in the uh, in the upper right hand corner you can click on help desk or find it in the actual exhibit hall and you can scroll through the booths and uh, this is the booth for uh, HypnoThoughts, the, uh, the social network that uh, has almost 5,000 hypnotherapists sharing information together live. And there's a number of other booths that all have the same basic information. And as you saw in all those booths I show you, showed you, this menu on the right-hand side was always there. And that makes it easy for you to stay confident that things are pretty darn simple. What I'm going to do is go back all the way to the, uh, the actual vendor rooms uh, in the expo hall. And as you highlight over one, you can find out information about them. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump ahead and show you one other booth, uh, which is the Center for Creative Counseling. And as you see, there's a number of different styles, number of different techniques, and uh, they all have their own public chat room uh, where you can talk here. And you can also talk... Uh, live via webcam. Now, no one's at these booths right now because the event hasn't happened yet. Uh, but the nice thing is you can video chat or text chat or, in fact, audio chat with the presenters uh, or their entire staff. So it's a really nice thing, a really very clean, very simple interface. Uh, what I'm going to do is go on the very top up to Lecture Hall, and I'm going to click on that, and bring up the Lecture Hall. And this is the program guide. So you can see these are where all the different presenters' names are. And they're yellow right now because they are they're waiting to be uh, their time. The uh, presentations that are turned green mean that they are live right then. And once they turn red, that means they're finished and you can find them in the library. But just to give you an idea of what one looks like, you could click on uh, well any person here. Let's click on Tim Brunson. And you could view his details. And... Uh, his details will pop up just like that. And we find out all about the uh, lecture he's giving. And then you can click in the upper left-hand corner and just come right back to the convention center. And if his lecture was live, I would click this lower right-hand button that says View Presentation. And clicking there would allow me to watch his lecture live. In that lecture, I can ask him questions. And I'll just show you right here. Uh, in this lecture, he'll be uh, presenting on the screen. I'll be able to talk live via a chat room where he'll be able to read it or I could uh, with the live presentations there's a button that you could ask questions via your own microphone so if you have a microphone hooked up to your computer you could actually dialogue directly with those presenters uh, so moving on assuming the lecture is already finished and you missed someone's talk you come straight over to the library and the library is actually a really cool thing because uh, this screen pops up and it's empty right now because we haven't started yet but there will be a long list on the left hand side here of the presentations and you'll be able to uh, play pause and stop any of the recordings while they're going and uh, you can obviously adjust the volume as well uh, so for three full weeks you can watch these lectures as many times as you want it's very nice very simple to use Moving back in time, though, let's say you have a question with one of the presenters, and you're asking him questions back and forth, and he just run out of time. And his time is up, and he doesn't know what, uh, or you don't know exactly what the answer to the question is. 
you come over here into the lounge. And we've upgraded the lounge uh, quite a bit this time. It's one of the biggest upgrades we've made. Uh, what we've done is we've created general chit chat and post lecture Q and A. Now they both look and work the exact same way. General chit chat is designed just to be a normal lounge and lobby. But I'm going to click on post lecture Q and A. If you wanted to hear the end of someone's lecture or after the lecture, you had other questions with them, you'd come in here. Now, just like any chat room, you could talk to them uh, and just type whatever you wanted. Everyone could talk. You could have a private conversation that no one else could see. Or you could click this button and allow your webcam to pop up. Now, I'm going to click Deny because I'm using my microphone to make this recording. Otherwise, uh, if I had clicked Allow, right down here, my face would pop up. The, uh, the lecturer's face would pop up there. And we could have a video chat. And we'd hear each other through our computer. It's a really nice, very simple interface. Now, there's a few other things here and there. But really, the main things I want to show you are the vendor rooms. You can browse visually through the booths or from a drop-down list. The lecture hall. You can see the description of the topic in detail and ask the presenter questions via chat or via audio. The library allows you to watch all the lectures for three full weeks after the conference is over, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, as many times as you want. And last is the lounge, where you will have time to chat with colleagues, friends, or other presenters. So that's the basic gist of how the new Hypno Summit is going to work. This is Hypno Summit 2.0. And again, it starts on September 19th, so it's happening very soon. Uh, so if you don't have your ticket, go to www.hypnosummit.com. And if you head to www.hypnosummit.com now, you can buy your ticket and make sure you're set for really the hypnosis event of the year. If you have any questions, you can also go to www.hypnothoughts.com, and you'll see the program guide, you'll see question and answers, you'll see all sorts of information. So if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you at the Hypno Summit. This is Scott Sandlin saying goodbye.